So Art just told me to quit horsing around, but really I wanted to see what was going on here, how, how they how they build these horse heads and, and, and some of the, you know, the legs and, and, and the bodies. And they use a duplicating machine to do that. And I'm here with uh, Ryan Jones. Ryan, um, you do a lot of the fabrication of, of, of a lot of the characters, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Well, tell me a little bit about, uh, you know, what's the importance behind using a duplicating machine to, uh, to carve these out versus carving them out by hand? Well, because they just start off as a solid block, mm -hmm. Um, what these duplicating machines do is they just kind of speed up that carving process for it. Um, and without that, we would not be able to keep up with the demand that we have mm -hmm. and put out the amount of carousels we have been per year. So how, how many of these, do you, you know, how many different parts do you guys turn out? You, you basically take, uh, um, you know, a blank stock and then turn it into a, a, a hoof or a head or, or what mm -hmm. have you. How many, about how many of these are you guys able to turn out a day? Um, it just depends on the size of them. Yeah. Uh, but you know, the little legs that, you know, he could probably turn out, you know, a full set of legs mm -hmm. in about a half a day. All right, so, so basically this this just works like a, um, like a template, and then wherever wherever I move this, it's going to be over here cutting at the same time, right? Yep, the cutter just follows, and it's just roughing it out. It's just a rough shape mm -hmm. of what it is, and that's all of our carvers need. Once they get it from here, they can put all the detail into it and carve in all the fur and fingernails and or what have you. That's crazy. So rather than, than doing each of these um, you know, manually, you're able to do, so if I need to do four of these at, at, at the same time, I can, I can line them all up, put the blanks in, and just, just carve away, right? Absolutely. So four times productive. Absolutely. So what happens when you get to a size that you can't handle on this machine? Well, that's when we use this, our larger machine that we built. You, so, you, so you guys designed that here in-house using Inventor mm -hmm. to be able to address some of, the, some of the bigger ones so you can duplicate this, this type of productivity. Yes, we did. This is T-Rex right here. Um, as I said, it's designed to uh, just run much, much larger patterns. Mm -hmm. um, without it, we couldn't, we couldn't do the size of some of the animals that we've created here recently. So you, before you had T-Rex, did you, how, how'd you do some of the larger uh, characters that you did? Um, before we had T-Rex, we didn't duplicate some of the larger things we did. Um, they were carved just from a block. So that took took a lot longer then, right? So if I if I needed to do two of these, you know, two or three of these same locomotives or a similar one painted a different color, each one of them had to be carved by hand, right? Yep. So you know, by designing this here in house, you're able to to uh, to really turn out a lot more of these larger characters a lot more quickly. Absolutely. So uh, so this you've got a you've got a template in there. You got a blank in there. Mm -hmm. You let me run this thing. Sure. Let's check it out. I'm assuming the green button is on. Just start anywhere, huh? So how big of a bite can you take out of this? Uh, no more than where you're going right there. <laughs> Sweet. Now I can uh, now I can finally say that I've uh, I've put my 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 mark officially on one of your carousels. You right? have. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. Nice meeting you. All right. So it was a locomotive and not a caboose, but the joke didn't work the other way. Next, I head over to see how they move 10 to 20 tons of carousel so that little Timmy doesn't get bucked off the ride. <laughs> 